so you never know who's going to be there, and that just serves as a wonderful way for everybody to really keep in touch and everybody can see what the different chapters are doing. Sometimes an idea that somebody has in Pinellas may not work there, but it will inspire somebody down in Naples and vice versa, and it's all just really good momentum, you know. So uh, speaking of Pinellas, uh, I see that up in the Tampa Pinellas area, they are actually starting to work towards a town hall meeting. So I think that's fantastic. I think the more town halls that happen are all to the better good. It looks like this town hall event is going to be in the works for August 23rd, and uh, it's going to be from 1.30 p.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. at the Clearwater Library, which is located at 100 North Osceola Avenue in Clearwater. Again, 100 North Osceola Avenue in Clearwater, and it's going to be August 23rd for our Tampa Pinellas Town Hall meeting. I hope you guys have the best there, and uh, I'll do what I can to try to promote this in any way. If you want anybody to get in touch with me, I can make up, you know, YouTube promo videos. We can spread that on Facebook as well as YouTube. And I think all these different kind of venues just help, you know, the chances of people being able to happen upon it and show up at your event. So, once again, town halls are fantastic. I'm actually looking to start one down here in the uh, Naples area over the course of the next couple months. I have a friend who has a venue that's going to become available that he's running, and he's going to be able to let us have some meetings there. It's a great hall for it. Got a PA, and uh, try to video record anything that you guys do. We'll make sure that we get it up on the YouTube page, and just you know, watching what uh, Peter's Town Hall went down in California. Uh, gives a lot of inspiration for me to do it locally, as well as I'm sure you guys in Tampa and Pinellas. And the more we do it here, the more we'll start seeing it sprout up all over the state. So uh, we got that going on in uh, Clearwater and Tampa. And also in Clearwater, Vicki is uh, still working on her Sunset House project, which is essentially restoring an old two-story house. Uh, to combine with a couple other residencies, uh, residencies she has there, and it's to create a more sustainable housing project. Uh, she has a handyman living in one area in exchange for services right now, and is hoping to attract community members with different skill sets to provide as many of the basic needs as possible. Uh, of course, she's got natural grown vegetables going on, a nice garden with some natural food, uh, staying away from this mass-produced kind of crap that we're all forced to consume and just terrible things uh, for everybody, especially the kids. Um, I guess she's also got like a chicken coop there and experimenting with aquaponics and rainwater collection. These are all good ideas to really affect your personal way of living. You know, we, we'd all love to build a, build a Venus project and be living in a Venus city and everything be, you know, happy, this, that, and the other thing. But it's nice to affect what you can in your own surroundings. So I really kind of respect her for doing that. I think it's a valiant effort, and I think it will inspire other people that maybe come by and see what she's doing and think about small changes that you can do in your own life to help things be more sustainable, yourself more healthy, both physically as well as mentally. And uh, if you're interested in seeing what Vicki has going on, I'm sure she can always use a hand. She's always doing something out there. So you can find her on the Chapter Facebook page. You can get in contact with her there. And I believe Andy and I are actually going to start working with Vicky to do a little documentary film on the Sunset House Project. So anybody who would like to contribute to something like that, I would love to hear from you. And continuing on in Clearwater and Andy, Andy's working on a community movie night at Rick's, which I believe is going to be outdoors. And it's going to start with a screening of Addendum and perhaps even move on to an ongoing movie night with different features on a regular basis. And, you know, different documentary films, there's a million of them out there that really help address each individual aspect of the problems that we're facing, whether it's zeitgeist-centric or not. So I really hope that, you know, Andy's able to get that off the ground up there in Clearwater and anybody that can help with handing out flyers and uh, getting the word out and maybe in convincing Ricks it's a valiant effort, that would be awesome. I'm sure Andy would appreciate it. You can find him on Facebook. And uh, also, there is now a state YouTube page that is up and running at youtube.com slash Zeitgeist Florida. And that's where we'll be able to post some of these different documentaries and promotional ideas that we're thinking of. Uh, I've thrown up just a couple uh, promotional videos just to get some content up there. Outside of that, it is very educational driven. It has, you know, the town hall meetings. It has Peter's TED Talks lecture that he gave, as well as all the various lectures they've given, including the orientation guide and, you know, where are we going, social pathology, 
And anybody who's not aware of some of the different aspects of the movement, I think they can really get a lot of good information there. It's nice and concise, easy to find, and you spend a day there, and I think you have a real good idea of what the movement's about. It's only been three weeks since we put it up. We've already had 264 channel views and just about 600 views of the handful of uploaded videos. So this will get some traction, and there will be some people that see this. So as we record town hall meetings, as we do any of the numerous different things that go on, I'll be happy to make promo videos, put them out there, get them out on Twitter, uh, which, by the way, uh, we have a Southwest Florida Twitter feed, at S uh, ZMSWFL. That's Twitter, at ZMSWFL. And there I'm going to try to continue to, you know, just blast these different videos and all the different events. Much like this blog talk show, the Twitter feed, I'm kind of promoting everything that I can in the state of Florida as well. Um, so, you know, keep an eye out on that. Maybe follow that and keep spreading that around. These are all different web addresses we can get on the business cards and flyers that we start putting out at all these different events. So uh, moving down into my neck of the woods in southwest Florida, um, let's see. <laughs> Uh, am I aware? Yes, I, uh, I'm trying to get aware of all of them, all of the different things that are happening in Southwest Florida. Uh, I was a little slow on some of the group sites. I'm just running into everybody in Southwest Florida now. I didn't get a chance to blast this on the Facebook Southwest Florida page. Believe me, it will be there next time. My apologies. That's uh, part of what I was hoping to accomplish with this show is to run into some other people in this area, and now that's happening fast and furiously. So that is great in and of itself. And, uh, and I apologize for being slow on the uptake. I'm finding a couple of these people and everybody out there, but I think we're moving in a good direction now. Um, speaking of Southwest Florida, uh, it looks like there's a documentary in the works here as well called Be the Change, and you can find info to this, again, on Facebook, directly at the Be the Change page, as well as links are starting to pop up on the Southwest Florida chapter pages and the state chapter pages. And it uh, seems, seems really pretty neat. I'll give a quick kind of mission statement of sorts of what it's about. Uh, with the rapid spread of information within the past decade, a growing number of people have been uncovering detrimental realities of our planet's processes, both socially and environmentally. But what are we doing about it? Be the Change will take a tour throughout southwest Florida, interviewing activists that are making real differences and setting examples for the rest of us. With this documentary, we hope to inspire others to do the same. So that's what I hope to do with any of these YouTube pages, videos, and shows, uh, blog talk shows, is to inspire others to do the same and to uh, continue on trying to spread the word and do good activist activities. You know, anything that, that you can do along those lines, you know, just helps everybody else feel that what they're contributing to is worthwhile and that there's a bigger movement out there, and there really is, and it's growing, you know, by the day. So um, I had mentioned I'm also trying to start this town hall. I'll keep everybody apprised of that, especially my people here in southwest Florida. Let me know if you have any interest in coming down to Naples. If not, we can do something more centrally located, but I do have access to a really cool hall here in Naples, so maybe we can do something down here. Um, and I already told you about the Twitter page, so everything's, you know, kind of going there. You guys can check out the feed there. And I wanted to let everybody know that on July 4th, the Southwest Florida chapter held a peace rally. And it was really nice to see somebody in this area bringing this to the forefront. You know, I've often wondered why do we not see that kind of thing in this area with the atrocities that are going on and the multiple wars that are just popping up every day. We don't see anybody protesting about it. We don't see anybody you know, bringing up any real questions about it. So to see in this local area somebody actually holding signs and walking around and saying this out loud, you know, nearly brought tears to my eyes. That's awesome. I was so happy to see that kind of thing happen. And apparently there were even attempts made to get the local Fox News affiliate to cover the event. But, of course, no mention of that was seen in the news. And no real surprise there, but, you know, do not be deterred. And time with increased numbers even Fox will be have no alternative but to report on these types of activities. So, um, you know, I think that was a great, great, great undertaking that went on there. And uh, 
I, yeah, they, I saw some of the pics and videos that are going on in the chapter page. I'll have to check to see if we can get that maybe even up on the YouTube page. And, of course, it was peaceful demonstrations. As I mentioned, the, the underlying theme of all of this stuff is nonviolence, and that speaks to a greater condition of the human being. Outside of just war will help everything tenfold if everything was just nonviolent aspect was the general disposition that people looked at things from. Uh, it seemed that there was a great response from the crowds there, and uh, I would imagine so. And I'm glad to see that it was a good response from the crowds. And that type of activity is just fantastic. And, you know, keep me informed of anything uh, going on along those lines again. We'll do up some more promos for it. And I'll do my part to get people out from Naples to even truck it up to Fort Myers or wherever this is happening. And I have, you know, a handful of people that really kind of understand the concept here. And I really want to try to make it spread as much as possible in my very, very localized area here in Naples. So that's going to be kind of my attempt. And I really hope that this that this blog talk radio show can be a venue for all you guys to, you know, spread the word. And I want people to be able to call in as the shows progress. This one just kind of wanted to get out of the way, the general concept of what we're trying to do here but have guest hosts in, or if you got, if you want to call in and host the show yourself one day, feel free. Tell us all about all, any activities that you have here, any help that you need to get some different activities off the ground. Uh, just watching, you know, some of Vicky's contacts, I can see if you need something, there's quite a few people out there that can help accomplish that for you. And the more venues we get out from blog talk to YouTube to Twitter to paying attention to these Facebook pages, and uh, like I said, I think TeamSpeak is great. I really encourage everybody to start, you know, taking a second look at TeamSpeak and getting involved in that again. I'm really confident that we can be rolling as much here in Florida as what they're doing out in California. And um, I think it's fantastic. I really appreciate everybody's, uh, everybody's input and contact. But as of right now, we are at the end of our first show. So we'll be back here July 23rd. Uh, skipping next Saturday and the following Saturday at 1130, and I hope to see everybody then. And if you want, stay in a chit-chat for a second, but everybody take care and hope to see you again on July 23rd. I appreciate you listening, guys. Have a good one. You have been listening to the Zeitgeist Movement Southwest Florida Blog Talk Radio Weekly Broadcast. Show archives and broadcast times can be found on our show page at blogtalkradio.com slash zeitgeistmovementswfl.